Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to part 13 of the Fan Art Feb series and today I'm drawing Princess Bubblegum and Lady Unicorn, I think her name is, from Adventure Time. I'm not really up to date on Adventure Time, I did watch the first few seasons but I haven't watched the last ones. I, can't, I don't even know which one I got up to but I do love the show, I've just not had a chance to watch it. But for this picture I'm doing the, I don't know if it's been done before, but a glitter glue challenge. So I've got to colour the whole picture in glitter glue. So if it's not been done before, I'll set some rules now for it so people can't say, oh, you broke the rules. You can have a sketch to start with and you can do your line art. That's fine. But you can't colour your picture in anything but glitter glue. So there we go. Um, me and Claire from Blacksmith Colouring thought this would be a really fun challenge to do. And... Yeah, I just thought, you know what, I saw these glitter glue sets in uh, Home Bargains, which is a cheap shop near me, I think it cost me like 75p or something like that to get this full set. So I thought, I'll just, let's just give it a go for a bit of fun. One thing I will say is it takes 12 hours to dry at least, and this is only an A5 picture, because I normally do mine A4 at least, but I thought, no, I don't know how much glue I'm going to use to get a darker colour and stuff like that, so I thought I'll just do a5 on a scrap piece of card because I didn't want to ruin any of my Bristol board but to be honest I got quite lucky finding this set because most of the time you only get like four or five colours whereas I got quite a few so it gave me a chance to test out all the different ones and see which ones would match like the skin co skin colours and stuff like that so here you can see I'm just testing them out and some of them were really vibrant like they had a lot of glitter in them and then some of them not so great like the lilac wasn't too great but then the dark blue well it was really dark I mean that clear one that would be no good for anything really for this sort of challenge but the green when you got a, enough on there it was very very vibrant which was really nice but you had to kind of put a lot of glue on to get it to, to the green that it looks like in the tub so that is one thing I'd say and it's a very messy challenge. I had glitter on my desk for days afterwards. Uh, yeah, so that wasn't fun. And I did have a bit of trouble with some of the caps on these because the lids got stuck inside. Like the little screw caps. But yeah, it was... Because there were so many different shades of pinks and purples though, I could easily pick what I needed for Princess Bubblegum's hair and skin and dress. So it worked out pretty well. But for today I'm going to answer some questions from my husband so if you ever see someone called Simon Middleton commenting on my videos that is my husband and he's like one of my biggest fans ever and yeah he spoils me he buys me pretty much all of my art supplies so you can thank him for letting me do all this because he's pretty much funded it all but his first question is what is your favorite film of all time and why now I know this is a weird question that my husband would be asking but I don't actually know myself what my favourite film is so there's no way he could know. He could make guesses but I can't say for definite so I'd probably say some of the Studio Ghibli ones. I, mean, I go through phases of favourite films, at one point it would have been Totoro. Um, I remember last year when the new Naruto movie came out online, uh, Naruto The Last. Oh, I loved that movie. That was I was just raving about that for over a week at least. So that was my favourite then. But yeah, I don't really have a particular favourite film, so I, I, I can't really answer that one. Do you have any upcoming shows or conventions? Yeah, I have a table with my friends at MCON, which he knows about. I'm guessing he just wants me to tell you guys that I've got that. So my town's doing, well it's not its first ever Comic Con, it's the first MCON, which is just one that goes round in the UK. I think they have one in Nottingham, but it's a fairly big one. It's not as big as like the MCM, but it is decent sized. And me and my friends have got a table there, so I'm looking forward to that. Which is also why I did the Fan Art Feb Fifth series as well, because I thought I could get some work done for that. Uh, would you rather have a pencil that never needs sharpening and never runs out, or a pen marker that never runs out? Um pencil because you can get more ch like tones and shading and there's nothing wrong with going back to the basics I guess. I mean a marker would be good but then I'd get fed up with the colour. At least with pencil it's grey so you know. I don't know. I think it would be pencil anyway. You can do a lot more techniques with pencil as well than marker. So 
Yeah, and he has some requests. Looney Tunes or old school bugs. What's that? Bugs Bunny. Oh, Bugs Bunny. Daffy, Wacky Races, Top Cat, Tom and Jerry, anything from the early 90s. Okay. So if any of those reached out to you guys, then please comment which is your favourite and I will do that one. Or if you have any requests from the early 90s, then comment as well. But we're coming up to the end of the video now. And yeah, as you can see with the glitter glue, it actually turned out a lot better than I thought. I did have to put quite a few thick coats, especially on Lady Unicorn to get the rainbow. Like for the green and the yellow. And there was a lot of pink used on her hair. And on the dress. Well, the dress, it wasn't too bad because the colour was quite um, vibrant. But as soon as you spread it out, it obviously it loses that. So... It turned out okay. I'm quite pleased with it. It did take a while to dry and there is glitter everywhere, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. So I hope to see some of you guys try out this glitter glue challenge because it is quite fun. And if you have kids, it's something you can get kids involved in. But I challenge any of you to give this a go. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're enjoying the series. And please like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye!